Well, joining us via Zoom is the special advisor to the Honorable Minister of Youth and Sports and Media, Mr. Kola Daniel. Kola, it's nice to have you on the breakfast show. The Tigers are back in the country and um, they arrived at the Nadia Zikwe um, Airport in Abuja yesterday and went straight to the office of the Minister of Youth and Sports where they had a warm reception. It's the third time in a row they are winning this trophy. What does this say about the development of other sports in the country, Nigeria? Um, honestly, thank you for having me on the show. Me, honestly speaking, is a victorious time for basketball lovers in the country. Avon won the Afro basket. The, the Tigers has really, really given Nigerians happy independent celebration gift. Uh, um, winning the cup three times back to back to back is a rare dominance. A dominance that has clearly shown the trajectory of basketball in the country. You and I know that Senegal was the only country who has won this trophy consecutively three times, far back 1976, 78, and as well 80. But the D-Tigers did that in a grand style. Beating Senegal in that epic clash is a huge one for the country. Other federations sport need to emulate basketball. The meteoric rise of basketball can never be undermined in the country. As I speak with you presently, the D Tigers and the D Tigers, they are the leading basketball team in Africa. Having represented Nigeria at the Olympics. For the first time in history, we have our basketball team, both me and Fimi. Represent, uh, represented Nigeria at the global festival, at the prestigious tournament like Olympic. That should tell you that basketball has come to be a sport to reckon with in Nigeria. A semi dominance, no doubt about it. A rare one. Um, well, it's a victorious time yesterday at the Moshe Abiola Stadium, where the Honorable Minister, Mr. Sunday Dari, my principal, hosted the uh, the D-Tigers, a long-time minister of state for FCT. It was a colorful celebration, a celebration that looked historic well, in Asia. Mr. Kola Daniel, let me interject here, and um, let's talk about, you know, the Federation's election, you know, all them on the 30th of September. Um, you talked about the fact that it is important that other sports emulate the success story of D-Tigers, and uh, Musa Kida is also one man who is standing in for re-election as far as um, basketball is concerned. Um, will this be um, the foundation that um, the sports ministry will want other sports, you know, to um, follow? Because um, they say when you have square pegs and square holes, it's much more easy to deliver. Um, how will the sports ministry go about getting the right persons? Um, for the election on the 30th of September so that other sports will also have square pegs and square holes and the chances of Musakida on the success story of the Tigress. Mia, thank you for this question. Our answer has been on deck to ensure a free and fair election, to ensure an election where people who are passionate, people who actually are, are, have the, the interest of the game at heart. The federation election is going to be a different one Knowing full well, some of these criteria will be those who are ready to take different sports to the next level. Is it arm boy, is it volleyball, is it badminton, is it uh, gymnastics, table tennis, hockey, carrying and rowing? We want those individuals who can as well uh, leave a footprint of remarkable achievement in respective sports, in terms of sports transformation, in terms of sponsor sponsorship in terms of financial independence, in terms of catching the young one, not turning them to the stadium, getting those, um, the, uh, going to the uh, growth and crannies of this country, uh, discovering of this talent, bringing them to stadium, making uh, uh, sports in a grand, no longer a, a recreation, but rather a business. As okay. my principal rightly right, said, talking about Honorable Sunday Dari, I think all hands on deck were set for the election. It's going to be an election that was going to be free and fair. Okay. Election that is going to be 
election that one who actually this uh, emerge winner all right we know that he has really really worked to be in the federation of uh, sport i must say very brave thank you mr color daniel special advice on media to the minister of youth and sports mr sunday diary well